everyone, this is Mayube and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go over my recent favorite manga reads. Let's go! So first up is Free Rain Beyond Journey's End. So the story is about an immortal elf mage named Free Rain who joined up with a group of adventurers and traveled with them for a long period of time. So their adventure concluded after they defeated the Demon King. So after they disbanded and the adventurers grew older, Freeman decides to go on her own journey and starts for her new adventure and meets new characters along the way. So I enjoyed the series. I currently have up to volume 6 and as of this recording, volume 7 is out. So reading this series does remind me of watching and reading The Lord of the Rings, but Freeman is more chill. Um, yeah, I like most of the characters and I'll definitely continue reading more of the series. I'm a little bummed that it's on a hiatus now, so yeah, kind of a bummer. But I'm looking forward to the anime that's coming out soon too. So the next read I enjoyed is The Dragon Knight's Beloved. So the story is about Melissa. Uh, who is a maid and she works at the royal castle and she cares for the dragons of the dragon knights so the dragons really like her because she exudes this good vibe melissa has like a good friendship with commander hubert who is hands who is a handsome dragon knight who rides the mightiest dragon of the kingdom who which is the white queen she one day hubert receives news that his brother was killed and his fiance wants to marry him so hubert doesn't really feel the same way towards the fiance so he wants Melissa to be his lover instead so this really complicates things for Melissa and it just makes me want to know more of the story like how's that gonna resolve you know so I read the first two volumes and I like most of the characters introduced so there is a third volume out but I have not gotten the chance to read it yet but I do have a feeling that I'm gonna continue picking up more volumes of the series. Here is The Country Without Humans. So this story follows a girl named She, and she's the only human in this world inhabited by machines. One day she meets this golem named Bald and befriends it. So the story just it shows like the two characters exploring this world together and they are trying to find out what happens to humans whereabouts so first thing that came to mind before reading this i really thought this was a bioshock story or inspired story but when i read the first volume it's completely not it's not a horror manga so that's good it actually gives more like i guess somewhat of a somali and the four spirit story kind of vibe I really like the two. Vo I like the first two volumes I read, and I'm definitely gonna read the third volume. Next is the Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts. So this manga was a blind date with a book that Barnes and Noble did last year. So the Barnes and Noble employees wrapped up volume ones of random manga, and they would write down like a short description on the wrapper cover, or the wrap cover. I mean. So I decided to try one out because I thought it was a neat idea and when I read this volume I ended up really liking it. So this story is about like this young girl named Seraphy and she's the 99th sacrifice for the King of Beasts. So as so Seraphy is different compared to the previous sacrifices that the King of Beasts has interacted with because she's not scared of the king. And as they interact with each other, things get just get really interesting and there are some political moments in there too. But yeah, you I really encourage you to read this volume or read this manga series. I think it's good and it does have like this Beauty and the Beast vibe, but it does really well in differentiating itself. I'll definitely keep up with the series and look out for the new anime that's coming out this year on Crunchyroll. Alright, so finally, I read a non-fiction manga that got me out of a temporary reading slump and it's called Blank Canvas and My So-Called Artist Journey. So this manga follows the story of Akiko Higashimura, and who is the author of Princess Jellyfish and other work she's done in the past. So this is her artist journey starting from high school 
into college and her adult life. So it also like shows how one of her mentors made a really huge impact on her artist career and her life. So when after reading this volume or this series, all five volumes, it's very relatable and after reading it, it definitely entices you in a good way to read her other works because it's actually good. And that concludes the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!